welcome to my channel divinely spoken 22 my name is Nati. this channel is for adults only please like comment subscribe to the channel you guys if you all like the readings if you all like my vibe help me grow we can grow together so this is a general energy check-in for sag all right sag so take what fit leave what does it don't force any reading into your life if you have to ask who what when where how and why sag that means that the reading is not for you i do curse on my channel so if you don't like the cursing you can always move to another channel so hello sag i am back with another general energy check-in uh, so before we hop into the groundy, look at my beautiful flowers. Okay, don't forget to shop with Rose Forever, you guys. These rose, roses are so beautiful. It's different kind of colors, different types of collections. Okay, you guys, the shipping was very fast. <clears throat> and they smell very good, all right? If you guys would like to purchase this reading, I'm sorry, if you guys would like to purchase these flowers, if you want to purchase a real too honey that information will be down in the description below okay you guys also you can take my code which is Nati n-o-t-t-i-e um Nati 25 and you can get 25 dollars off of your off of your purchase you guys so definitely check them out all right um uh, very beautiful flowers okay all different types of colors so we're gonna hop into the grounding and then we'll hop right into the reading you guys be something about that grounding for me all right one more shuffle all right spirit what is the energy for sad please so sad i feel like right now you could be very defensive when it comes to someone here all right i feel like you're overcoming some unhappiness here maybe at one point you had lack of clarity when it came to someone but i feel like you're being very defensive now here um, I feel like there's a king of pentacles here who wants to come in with a fake apology here. Someone wants to throw you off of your, the tree from your path. Okay, I feel like this person still has lack of clarity. Maybe you were with this person at one point. But I feel like you, you've awakened here to, to your happiness. Okay, I feel like this person, this king of pentacles is full of desire, lust, temptation. This person would be a distraction here if they decided to come back into your um energy here see this person is very sad here because they're unhappy uh very immature type of person um this could be someone a bit controlling okay maybe a boss man um business owner all right but whoever this person is is just a distraction here i feel like they're very sad here um, maybe since you guys have freed yourself from this mind entrapment, all right, you're like, I'm free, all right, yeah, since you freed yourself from this mind entrapment, this person has been very, very sad, all right, what is the energy for stats, please, <clears throat> what is stats energy, yes, oh my god, we got, you're being defensive, you're holding back, I feel like you have that inner strength now to, to move forward with your life okay you freed yourself you've gotten that clarity on this person that you needed and i feel like you're moving forward uh for some of you all this person could be feeling stuck here to someone maybe this is a long distance relationship that you've been in with this person this this person could have a family or a child baby mama someone that they could be feeling stuck with here see you're moving forward and manifesting this new beginning for yourself for some of you all you guys could be coming into a big lump sum here but i feel like spirit is granting you a new beginning here king of queen of pentacles for some of you all, this could be your twin flame here. I feel like you're a boss lady, business owner, hard worker, provider, very loyal, very protective. Now of who you're choosing to help, who you're choosing to love, who you're choosing to give your finances to. 
See, this person is feeling left out in the cold by you. Possibly down on their pinnacles right now, okay? You guys could you guys could have had a business. See, this person is occupied with somebody else here who could have distracted them from off of their journey. Alright? Yeah, this person gave emotions being very fast and hasty here. Um, they gave some emotions here to someone else. Very unwise of them. Now they're over here preoccupied doing nothing but watching you um you could be on some type of public platform here um i feel like you're holding back and you're a bit mystery for this person you are a you are a mystery this person sees you as a mystery they don't know what you're doing but i feel like you guys have a lot you guys have a big um you guys have a big knowing here very intuitive all right and I feel like you know all about this person's secrets and that they're going to be coming in here with manipulation, this narcissist. So I feel like you're getting ready for this person to come in so you can turn them back around as soon as they try to come towards you. Alright, this person is going to be coming in very fast, very impulsive here because they regret for turning their back on you here, okay? They definitely could have followed somebody out right into the cold. This could be someone who likes to party, who likes to drink a lot, who likes to deal with multiple people. But I feel like you're moving forward celebrating your own life here, okay? I feel like they could be dealing with someone here, a page of swords, who um, watches you. I feel like this page of swords watches them. The page of swords not watching you. The page of swords watching them. Because the page of swords... I feel like this masculine is holding on tight to this page of swords here. Okay? Or maybe this page of swords could be clingy. But whatever the case is, they went and followed this person right out into... Like, maybe even how they dress. They don't even dress the same no more. They look really bad here. And then there's you over here to the side, just standing on your own, standing in your power, standing in your strengths here. This is your twin flame who avoided a commitment with you, who avoided a who avoided a chance with you. And I feel like since they've separated, they've had nothing but failures in their life. All right? I feel like you're trusting into the universe, very happy. And this person is watching you here. Okay, but it was their fault. They chose to, um, they're in deep regret here because they're with this clingy karmic. They're down on their pinnacles. They're very emotional. They were moving very fast, very hasty. All right, what is the energy for Sag, please? See, I feel like this page of swords could have caught them looking at you in a phone or something here. Okay, this page of swords has been watching this masculine and keeping an eye out on this masculine phone. But I feel like someone either has said something about this masculine watching you or found evidence that they've been watching you, okay? This masculine has been watching you hard and harder than a motherfucker. Harder than a motherfucker. Alright, they've been watching you very hard here, longing for you. Missing you, being nostalgic, being nostalgic. This person is suffering in silence here because they miss you so much. Okay, they miss you so fucking much. This could be someone that you're married to, or this person could be in a marriage here with the karmic. I feel like this person watches you wanting to take things to the next level here. Okay, but they have a lot of doubt and confused. They need more time before deciding. So I feel like they're doing nothing but watching you. Not sure what, what, where it will head if they decide to come towards you. See, I feel like your life is full of happiness, bliss. Some of you guys are traveling. Like I said, this could be a long distance relationship for some of you all. For some of you all, you guys could be going on a business trip looking sexy. Okay, but I feel like this person has intimate feelings about you or... Like, I keep getting that this person longs for you sexually, okay? Um, this person could have waited for you to reach out to them, but you never did. Usually, maybe in the past, you would reach out to this person, but this time, you left their ass standing, okay, with that karmic and the other options, okay? There's more to the story. Secret lies, not who they claim to be. I feel like maybe this karmic wasn't who they claim to be. Maybe this masculine got with this karmic for sexual reasons here, okay? And this karmic was wearing a mask. Now, they're over there in this sloppy situation doing nothing but watching you. They were only dealing with this karmic for, for sex here, 
Okay? Spying. They as is spying on you. Doing nothing but spying. Wanting more info on you. I feel like this karmic could also check. Okay? Both of these people are checking your online accounts here. Okay? Both of these people watch you on a social platform here. These two people watch you on a social platform. And I feel like this karmic knows that. And I feel like this karmic has went through this masculine's phone. And this karmic has realized that this masculine is still in love with you. Or still wanting you. Still longing for you. But see, you chose to stand alone and do your self-care. You chose to stand alone here. You didn't chose to sit with them. You ain't one of them. You chose to stand alone here. Okay, and provide yourself some self-care. Put yourself first. You chose to make healthy choices and bring yourself to balance here. Okay, I feel like be patient. These things will get better. This is long awaited here. You will have rewards after perseverance here. So if you're, if you're waiting on love, if you're waiting on money after you set yourself aside from this person, just have that, have that patience. This person is desperate here. Can't let you go. Desperate for your love. Fear of fear of you moving forward. Maybe that's this karmic. This karmic is desperate for this masculine love and don't want them to move forward. This page of swords. And this page of swords has this page of swords know that this masculine has been spying on you. This page of swords know that this masculine wants you. And meanwhile, they're over here very clingy, hanging on to this masculine's energy for dear life. Okay, what is the energy, please, spirit? The mind leads, not following their heart. See, I feel like at one point this masculine, yeah, they're not following their heart. I got that in the last reading. They're choosing to, they're choosing to spy on you here, watch you on some type of public platform with this karmic, all right? And not follow their heart. They're being logical over love. Like they, 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 they're full of desire, lust, and temptation. They don't, this type of person don't, like they don't follow their heart. They know, they probably don't even know what love is. But they know that it's something about you that they can't let go. And now this person is trapped inside their head here. This person is trying to side their head thinking about you because it's something about you that they just can't let go. Okay? See, but you're walking away, leaving someone behind. You're in a love triangle. You're tired of the emotional mess. I feel like this masculine wants to do the same, but this karmic is way too clingy. Okay? I feel like this masculine could be cheating on this karmic, saying that they're working long hours, but they're up to no good. They're with the third party, okay? And this karmic has been watching this masculine like a hawk. Their world, their world revolves around this masculine here. All right, and when it comes to this masculine, they cannot control themselves. This karmic, what is the energy, please, spirit? Yeah, this is a stalemate that this masculine is feeling tied to, okay? This masculine is feeling stuck, okay? No further progress, no further actions, no more love is going on over there um, in this connection with this karmic, all right? I feel like they regret deeply for their actions. They feel guilty for cheating, trying not to hurt anyone. Okay, this person is now realizing here they regret for leaving you, but I feel like they're trying not to hurt this karmic. Okay, they're trying not to hurt this karmic. Okay, I feel like this is a smooth chalker. This is a charming Casanova tells you what you want to hear. They know how to talk their way out of trouble. Okay, so they, they don't want to hurt this karmic. So it's like they're just gaslighting their karmic, talking them, telling them what they want to hear, telling them. The, for the, so they won't feel sad here. They're worried about this karmic feelings. Okay, they're keeping this karmic as a plan B with no intentions of committing, giving you false hope. Okay, so I feel like this person is definitely stuck in their head, okay? I feel like it's something about you that they can't let go. 
But I feel like this could be a codependent masculine who has to keep someone around them. Who has to, this person can't be alone. So even though this karma is not satisfying them anymore and they can't start thinking about you. It's like they're still worried about this karma feelings. They're worried about how this karma is going to feel if they live. Okay, and then this karma is very clingy also. This karma could be very emotionally stable, possibly even suicidal here. And they could be worried about that, okay? But then it's no longer, they're no longer giving it to the relationship. It's no more love. It's too late to fix things. Okay, this person feel pre feels pressure with making a decision. Okay, and that is causing them a long time to decide here. But, you know, if someone has to choose or decide or, you know, even compare you to anyone, then that's somebody that you don't need because, first of all, they can't shake you for a reason. Okay, you're different than the others. Um, and I feel like, you know, you just have to be cautious here because they want to come in here to offer you this love offer because they're unhappy, but they still have this emotional karma who's there, who they're feeling sad for, who they're considering this, this karma feeling. So this person would consider this karma's feelings, but not consider yours, but that just shows you who's weak and who's strong. You're strong. This karmic is weak. Okay, so you, you ain't one of them. They can't sit with you when you ain't finna sit with them, and that's period. Alright, but yes, I hope y'all enjoyed the reading. The signs that we have out here is Leo, Capricorn, Gemini, Pisces, I'm sorry, Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, we have Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Gemini, Libra. So we got all the signs out here. Also, the link for the description and also the code. Will, I'm sorry, the link for the flowers. Also, the code for the $25 off will be in the description below to see how beautiful they are. And it's not too big. It's not too bulky. They fit just right, okay? Um, also... All of the information is in the description box. Thank you all so much for listening, loving me. I love you all. Don't forget to stay blessed, stay strong. We're growing and we're growing together, Sagittarius. And until next time, bye, good night.